Worship at Home for Sunday the 7th of June. It's great to have you with us as we worship God together. Today is Trinity Sunday. St. Paul wrote this to Timothy. Great is the mystery of our religion. God was manifest in the flesh. Today we want to worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and to experience his working in our lives. Let's bow together in prayer. How great thou art. As we draw near to worship, Lord God, we recognise again that all of our words, all of our thoughts cannot do justice to your greatness, goodness and majesty. You are so different from ourselves. You are immortal. We fade away. You are holy. We are at best people with mixed motives and muddled up ideas. You are wise, we are ignorant, and yet you call us to spend time with you. Indeed, you delight over us with singing, as the prophet tells us. So today, while we seek to understand you in your ways more, even more, we would spend time in adoration, awe, wonder, love and praise. How great thou art. Amen. And the special prayer for today, Trinity Sunday. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given your servants grace by a confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith that we may evermore be defended from all adversities through Jesus Christ our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading appointed for today is from the very end of Matthew's Gospel, Matthew 28 and verses 16 to 20. You may like to uh, pause the video and uh, fetch your Bible to have a look at the words. I'm just going to concentrate on uh, verse 19, the command of Jesus. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, today we've got some uh, visual aids uh, for you. Time, I think, for a bit of maths. So here we are. If, uh, as it says here, y is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 2x, then the differentiation of y with respect to x is 4x cubed plus 2. You get it? Well, you may be very familiar with that formula or something much more complicated, but it may also be that uh, it goes right over your head. It's all Greek to you. It's an example of calculus, and though I can assure you that the result that I've put on here is absolutely correct, uh, my recollection of A-level maths is a bit hazy, to say the least, nowadays. I know it's something to do with how you calculate the gradient of a curve. One of the realities about God is that God is the divine trinity. The disciples came to realise, eventually, that Jesus was God incarnate, being able, for example, to forgive sins, which only God can do. And Jesus himself made the claim, as it's recorded in John's Gospel, I and my Father are one, a unity. But at the same time, it's clear that the Father was distinct from Jesus. And then when the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit after the ascension on the day of Pentecost, and beyond. They came to realise that 
Although God was at work in them and through them in amazing and miraculous ways, it wasn't the physical Jesus that was there with them. It's all a bit complicated, much more so than calculus. After all, it's not surprising that in trying to describe the one who made and sustains the limitless universe, our words and our thoughts are inadequate. The Christian is guided not so much by academic reasoning, not that we discount that, but rather by God's own self-disclosure, which we call revelation. So, we can't somehow explain God, but there are a number of analogies, that is to say, it's a bit like this, that may help to comprehend what God is up to in the world. Here's four of them. So the first one here, the chemical formula H2O. It describes water, ice and steam. They are the same thing. Although, as we all know, they have different properties or experiencing them, we experience them in different ways. Second picture is that of an egg. The egg consists of a yolk, the albumen, and of course a shell. These are three different parts. They're all essential to the egg, that is, before you cook it. Although we can think of them separately. And then those dimensions. I've chosen a book. Hymns and Psalms, actually, if you can read it. Uh, but it could be any physical object. It has height, width, and length. These three aspects are essential to the whole. Uh, a 2D book <laughs> doesn't really exist. Even a piece of paper has some depth to it. Still less a 2D, 2D car or a bike. 2D just isn't the real th thing. You have to get the whole thing, the whole dimensions. And then the fourth one, relationships. Uh, I, personally, uh, am a father, but also, of course, a son and a husband. Uh, the, although there's only one of me, you might be glad to know. And I think this is perhaps the most helpful picture of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit in perfect, eternal relationship. More than that, God, who is Trinity, is always looking to open the circle, to widen the relationships, and that's where we come in. We're invited, people everywhere are invited, to join in what some have called the divine dance of love. St John reminds us, 1 John 3 and verse 2, Dear friends, we are now... The children of God. If we have entered ourselves into such a relationship, we rejoice in it. We seek to nurture it. And as today's text reminds us, seek to share the good news of the love of God with this broken world. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is on the sheet some suggestions for prayer, and I, I encourage you to uh, pray for the world, pray for the church, pray for the community as you feel led. And now we're going to close with the blessing. So, now may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen. Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One.
good to uh, have you with us again, and God bless you, and may you know his peace and his joy. Amen.